Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. We are here today to talk to you about a new adventure. A new adventure. Yes, yes. Adventures are fun. Yes, you want to tell them about the new adventure? Absolutely. Well, you know that we go out picking, we're hooked on picking, and uh, I go to all sorts of places. Started a long time ago going to flea markets, garage mm -hmm. sales, Goodwill, Savers. Our natural beginnings were Correct. picking like yep. that. And uh, since we started doing the auctions, we've been able to get back into that. Well, I was picking in uh, a local flea market near us, uh, St. Clair? Slink, yes. St. Clair Flea Market? St. Clair Antiques and Flea Antique Market. Antique Mall? Yeah. Something like that. We should do better at figuring out where these places are. Mm -hmm. But I, I can drive you there. Yeah. And um, I was picking there, and uh, they had um, spots available, or they were advertising that they potentially might have spots available. So I asked... Hey, is there some way that we can actually get a spot here? Like and one I, of the booths. Yeah, one yeah. of the booths. Uh, I think almost everybody's familiar with the flea market booth. And um, they said, well, you have a four-month waiting list. Well, they called us two weeks later and said, we actually have an available spot. It's kind of a sad story. A gentleman that was a long time there at the booth, uh, that had a booth at the flea market, he is, health took a turn. And uh, so they have a spot now. And he's just basically getting out of it. He's just he selling is. all the rest of his stuff he off is. at a discount and then yeah. getting out of it. Yep. So it's kind of a sad thing. But so the flea market said, you know, we, we know a little bit about you and is wondering if you'd like to put uh, Hooked on Picking in one of the flea market booths. So you see all kinds of stuff that dad buys. Mm -hmm. And um, I was thinking that might be the perfect thing to do. With a lot of other things, it's very difficult for us to ship. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to show you a picture of the front of the building so you kind of get an idea of the scale. And then I yeah. also take you on a tour, um, trying to, my best to avoid other customers, of just to show you the scale of the inside of the building and kind of what other people are selling and how they set up their booths. I ask you a few questions during that process. And, and then we also show you the space that will soon be the Hooked on Pickin' booth. Yeah. We're really curious. We've never done a flea market booth before. I've been to thousands of them. Yeah, yeah. Heather goes with me sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. She loves it. So much. So much. She doesn't love that so much. <laughs> so hers was the retail arbitrage. Yeah, yeah I love but. picking retail spaces. Yeah. yeah. But um, give us tips. Uh, you know, help us to know what you think about it. Uh, some of you have had flea market booths. What's the best strategies to be able to help? Leave in the comments section below, and that would be great. The other thing, too, that we would love to know, of the things you've seen us pick before, what were some of the things that you were like, oh, I would have definitely seen that in a flea market booth, or even stuff that we have on hookedonpicket.com, because, yes, we're going to put some vintage fun items in there, but we're also going to kind of couple that with some unique items that we buy from some of our wholesalers as well. So uh, definitely let us know, hey, uh, you have such and such on hookedonpicket.com. I think that would look great in your flea market booth. So definitely let us know those things as well. Absolutely. All right, well here, let's take the tour. Here's the antique mall we're gonna check out having a booth at. Hey everybody, this is Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. This is the space. This is the one that we're going to be renting. Now it still has the other person's items in it and he has to have everything out by the beginning of July. But so he's got the shelving unit here. We are not going to keep that glass shelving unit, but we will keep this glass case where we can put some things that we are able to lock up such as coins, um, you're allowed to sell like pocket knives, old vintage pocket knives, but these are kind of our neighbors and some of the areas around our booth, but I'll give you a full tour of the space right now. Here we go. So we are at a flea market and we've got all sorts of things to look at here. Look at those cute little figurines. You've seen us sell some of those before. Just all sorts of records sell. Awesome. Look at this. Just tons of stuff. We got jewelry, vintage jewelry. Lots of glassware, figurines. Just kind of looking at all the different things and the prices. Happy Fourth of July. Got some more things in there. Wow, that's a really busy booth. 
I guess this is locked. Yeah. So I guess they just rent the, the one section. So what do you think we should put in our booth? What would be a good idea? Looks like this one's kind of empty, but they might be trying, they might be trying to sell out because look. I'm going to kind of walk fast here and just kind of give you a glimpse of the whole space just to give you an idea. Looks like there's an empty one getting ready to get filled. A couple of them. Oh, look at that. That's a neat lamp. Bunch of toys there. Oh, this must be the uh, advertisement booth. More glassware. Oh my goodness, look at the children's books. So many children's books. Cool, huh? Wow. This is a lot of stuff. I'm almost overwhelmed. I don't even want to walk in this booth. So how many of you would love this booth? And how many of you would hate it? Just make a comment on the busy booth. We'll call it that, the busy booth. See how long it is? Go all the way down there. That's another busy booth. I think some of these are, they might be clearing out or something. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a whole other room over here. Here's kind of how far it shows you. How deep this building is, how large it is. Oh, this is neat the way this one's set up. I kind of like that. So it looks like everybody has like a number for their booth and then they put the price on. Some larger pieces there you can move. Sometimes, you know, Chuck gives us some big pieces and we don't know how to move it. These were so popular during COVID, those desks. There's a whole precious moment section there. Must be where the heater is. It's kind of buzzy back here. Oh, there's a cool trunk. Cool suitcase. I remember when we used to sell old suitcases way back in the early days. Oh, that's a kind of mid-century modern lamp there. That's kind of cool, huh? Look at the clock. How cool is that? Wow, 189, I wonder if
wonder if it works. It's got the key. That's cool. Oh, there's blues and cardinal stuff. So you got blues mostly on this side, cardinal stuff mostly on this side. Yeah, even cardinals jerseys, hats, cups, all that stuff. Oh, all the, these are like the giveaways, I think, at all the cardinal games. Oh my word, look at this case. Oh my stars, look at that. So much stuff. Oh, look at, we've sold these before. Huh, or how much they have it for. 10 bucks, I think that's about what we sell ours for. Only we ship it to you. <laughs> This way. Ooh, that's some cool artwork right there. I'll come back this way. Just looking at how people have it tagged. Looks like it's always paper tagged because I think they save all the tags, so we can't really do a sticker, which is probably smart. That way, you're not, uh, you know, ruining the paint on something. This is all 50% off for some of their jewelry. Oh, see, they've got stickers on this one. We'll have to figure out. I think I can actually get cards that I can print on the Dymo Thermal Label Writer. That might work. Little cute A and W mugs. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Those are in good condition. Lots of different things. Look at that. If somebody wanted to buy that chest there, you'd have to empty it. I'd almost want it to be displayed without all the things in it. Little signs. Well, oh, look at all the jewelry here. I'm kind of close to the front where the checkout is. That's where the checkout is, right here. So, right by the front door, basically. Only one way in and out, really. Oh, here's some more cases. So, it looks like you could just do locked cases if you want. A bunch of artwork on the peg walls. It is nice that we have a peg wall. How do they have this hanging up? Oh, just a peg hook. Got it. We're going to just come back around. Let's see. I'm going to go back this way, look back at our space again. So again, this would be our booth right here. Basically have, see where the ladder is? We have from the ladder all the way over to this peg wall. That's what we're going to be buying and renting. So we could definitely decorate this in a really cool way. Get our creative juices flowing. So I would love it if you would just let me know how you would guess you would want to have it decorated and um, how you would want to uh, display things if you were putting this together. Any tips and tricks for those flea marketers out there I would gladly take. Thanks so much for joining us and of course remember in the end Jesus wins.